Air traffic controllers have been operating without an industrial agreement for several years now, but after about two months of negotiations, they were able to finally agree on certain issues. Well, the news comes as government works with a number of unions in the country on various issues. Janae Noel Ferguson tells us tonight that the union may not have gotten everything it wanted, but members are satisfied with the move. The Air Traffic Controllers Union has operated without an industrial agreement since 2008. That changed Wednesday when they signed an interim proposal with the government. Outgoing union president Roscoe Propal explained the parameters of the new agreement. We accepted that we would um, form, sign an addendum to our existing agreement, which is honored in principle by the government, although unregistered, and we would um, take a position moving forward. While the terms of a new contract uh, basically agreed in, in the principle we have agreed to most of the items within the new contract. The uh, financial parts of the new contract which will be uh, um, continually negotiated after the day have not yet been concluded. His tenure as union president lasted for 20 years. Given the economic climate of the country, he confirmed union officials agreed to a four to eight thousand dollar lump sum. Government officials noted that negotiations were not easy, but aviation sector improvements continue. We will see um, beefing up of manpower and more air traffic controllers brought into the mix. The training program being accelerated because that, that was stalled for many years and it affected the careers of individuals. Um, I'm sure that the union isn't completely happy with everything they got um, and the way it is in negotiations, no side is happy at the end of the day. Uh, everybody's just happy that it's over with and they're able to move ahead and you never get everything that you want. LaShawn Gray will be installed as the new air traffic controller's union head. Propal contends that at the end of the day, the union only wanted better conditions for workers to ensure that safety is maintained nationwide. At the claims that the union made, that we had a failing radar system and also some other equipment that needed to be paid attention to, is now being addressed by the government in a substantial way with an investment of some $15 million into a new air traffic system at the airport. Janaina Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.